Um, last week was our closing. Oh, not no. Last week we moved, and then yesterday we closed on our we closed on the sale of our house, and. So I've been really busy with moving and school and I've been off work to do that, but it's still insanely busy as per usual. And so um, I'm pissed off today because the title company emailed me and said, um, hey, can you call the bank again? And... Um, tell them we haven't gotten the payoff uh, stuff yet because they supposedly faxed it and then in order for us to close yesterday they just gave us the amount over the phone well I can't get my money from the house until all this shit is done and I'm pissed off and so I'm like why are you people calling like for, for, as far as I'm concerned I don't own the house anymore so I'm like why are you people calling me and asking me to call them they supposedly already faxed this over to you so obviously it's authorized why can't you do your job and follow up and get it taken care of. Why stress me out? I don't even own the house anymore. The people that bought it have already moved in. You know, I'm just like, come the fuck. Just what the fuck. So yeah, it's 8.39. I was gonna go get some barbecue, but they're like, we're out of everything. And I'm like, great. So they want to hit up Popeyes because they're open till 11. So I'll just go through the drive through and then I'll go home. It's a loud helicopter. All but three at me because they have attitudes and they have horrible customer service. I probably won't go back to that particular one. But I went because it was near the college, so I'm trying to be quiet because my husband's cranky and went to bed. So yeah, I need to go to bed soon because I'm tired and I need to get more than six hours of sleep. You okay? Yeah. I am so tired today. I didn't go to bed until um, it was like after 12.30 last night. I got home, it's probably around nine, but like I, I can't just go home and scarf down my food and go to bed. It's like, I just feel so slow today because I all I wanna do is just go to sleep. Uh, anyway. It's Thursday, which is always a good day because Monday through Wednesday I have got class and I don't get home till late and I'm like scrambling to do last minute crap because I'm lazy and I don't actually want to do anything, but I have to do it if I want to get finish this degree. Speaking of which, like after this, I am so done. I am the type of person that overthinks things and I'm just like, oh my God, what am I doing with my life? I mean, all the while, just like really indecisive about what I want to do with my life and I finally just realized like... I don't want to spend my life working my ass off and not enjoying life, and so I want to have a career. I don't know what it's going to be in. My degree is in legal studies. You could apply that to anything. Um, 
I'll figure it out, but really what I want to spend my life doing is I want to travel, I want to enjoy life, I want to be leisurely, I want to, you know, have a kid, and I just want to enjoy life. I don't want to spend my life working and not enjoying things. Um, I will have a good career, I have an education, I'll be able to do something, but I was never one of those kids that was like, I want to be a doctor, I want to be an archaeologist, I want to be whatever. Pretty much all I've ever wanted to do in life is just have a good time and see the world. <laughs> so, and then maybe I'll, you know, I will continue learning on my own for the fun of it. I want to continue learning different languages. I know a bit of sign language. I took a couple sign language classes in college and I liked it, but I don't want to be an interpreter because that's too much human contact for me. And I really just want, like, ideally it would be amazing if I could, like, work for myself, work from home, you know work remotely. It would be really nice. Um, there's so many like hobbies I want to get into. There's just so many things I haven't been able to do because literally every spare minute is I have an assignment. I have to study for a quiz or a test or I have a paper. Um, we just sold our house. So it's like, I feel like slowly but surely I'm becoming free or free from this, this area, you know, partially now because we don't have a house, which is great. Um, and then when school's done in May for my husband and I, we're really, really going to be free in terms of just like everything opens up for us. We can do whatever we want. It really, it's just, it's, it's, it's limitless. And I'm so excited for that because the last 10 years, I feel like we've, you know, been trying to hold down jobs. And, you know, when we, we kind of first got together, it was when, you know, the economy wasn't doing very well. And, um, we were in the recession and so like I got laid off a bunch of times and we bought a foreclosure which needed a shit ton of renovation and we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. Did some of the renovations ourselves, wound up hiring people to finish the rest of it in the end and taking out a big loan which thankfully we can pay off with the money that we made from the house which is what we were planning on doing and it worked out. Um, so yeah, I'm just, we are, we do want to start a family so like that in a way is kind of like you know, committing ourselves to something really long term, although we're already super committed to each other and we want to have a family. We've been together for, um, we've been together for 10, 10, wait, how long have we been together? This year will, uh, this year in October we'll be married for 10 years and then, um, but together, yeah, so in August we've been together for 11 years. I met him when, technically, I was like 19 when I first started talking to him. It was like through my, my space and he lived in a neighboring town and we met on there. But I didn't meet him until like after I turned 20. And like we would hang out and he was 21 when I was 20. And he would go buy alcohol for us because I was too young to, oh god. There, we have a really solid foundation as we're, <laughs> obviously, obviously. I'm like the last of anybody my age in this area to get, like, have a kid. Um, my sister is two years younger than me, has a daughter who's four. So, ow. I just hit the steering wheel. I just got to chow time, which you can see off in the distance, right? There. And I'm sitting in my car, and this guy comes up on a bike to my window... And I'm like, I don't roll it out my window for anybody, not even the tiniest bit. So he was like, started talking and I was like, I don't have any money. And he's like, Nurr! and then gets off his bike and just pedals on. I sympathize with people that are genuine, gen, I'm trying to say genuinely and my mouth wants to try to say generally, um, genuinely down on their luck. That's sad. I sympathize. I really do. I feel like I'm really lucky that, you know, Day and I can sustain ourselves and we've never been in that position. However, I just don't think, I don't know, like, I mean, being a woman, I don't, I'm not scared of anybody, but I just, and this might sound sexist and I don't mean it like that because I'm not at all, but I just think like a man approaching a single one, like a woman who's alone in a car in a parking lot, and it's not dark yet, especially if it was night, nighttime, I would be really like, are you fucking kidding me? 
But I just don't think, like, a man should approach a woman, like, alone. I don't know who he is. I don't know what his intentions are. I live in a town where I think it's, like, kind of high crime. So I'm like, no. No. Negative. And so that's just my rant. It's just, I just, there's a woman. I think she's, like, in this direct TV store. She's, like, watching me talk to myself. And she's just, like, like staring right at me. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan. I don't like it. Also, in this town, and I've lived in other towns where this happens, you'll be at a stoplight, and there are these people out walking, like, through traffic with buckets. Sometimes they'll have signs in the buckets for, like, what it's for, but some of them are just walking through traffic with buckets, like, taking donations, and it's just like, Really? And they will walk up to your car and knock on the window and stare at you and yell at you through the glass. And I'm like, so disgusted because I'm just like, number one, you're going to get hit. You're going to get run over because you're not supposed to be in the street like that. Number two, I'm just offended because if I wanted to give, I would give. Don't come to my car and damn near like jump in my car. It's like, dude, no, like. Have some respect. Anyways, I'm hungry, so I'm, I'm going to go inside, but I just had a rant because this happens to me way too often. I was with my sister at her house, and we were in the Publix parking lot, and this guy comes up, and everyone was like, have a good day, sir. <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> and he left, and I was like, oh, man, you're like, I'm nicer than you, but like, I was not going to roll down my window. It is really a good thing that it's Friday because I am so over this week. I'm so over it. I'm so tired. I just want to, I just want to like zone out and do nothing and relax. It is a really, really bright sunny day today. I'm just like, I mean, it's a pretty day, but it's way too bright for my mood. My mood is too dark for this shit. And I've just been kind of like tired all week. I haven't been getting eight hours of sleep. Really what's ideal to me is nine hours of sleep during the week. Um, I mean, getting eight, eight hours is acceptable. But, and then on the weekends, I'll get like 10 to 12. I want to research vacuum cleaners because we had this, this cheap one for a really long time. And it just got to a point where all it would do is just move around the dirt. I really don't think it cleaned. And we have a greyhound and two cats. And there's always pet messes. So I want to research a really good one. We'll probably spend a significant amount of money on it. Just because it will be used so often. Um, I know that Dyson is good. But they're insanely expensive. But um, they have a good reputation. So I just kind of look at them. And um, I know they have one that's for pets. And then I'm going to look for some of the um, kind of maybe slightly cheaper alternatives. However, I'm very much, you know, I will pay for quality.
true crime podcast and something I was listening to kind of made me want to um, look up school shootings and then I remembered the one I forgot his name it was the Texas Tower Texas University at Austin shooting um it's so my reminder about my class tonight it just popped up anyway um the guy that had a brain tumor and um shot like 40 something people anyway I was watching actual like footage from that and um interviews and and things and then the last thing I was watching was um this countdown of the most deadly shootings school shootings in America and I, I'm just ultra morbid but like my degree is in legal studies and I take a lot of um criminal justice electives and I've just always been kind of interested in that stuff so I mean morbid whatever you know you're all interested in that too But there are other states that are going to have a dead cutoff of 18 years of age. What we're going to see on the next slide is that Florida falls. The internet lied. Mose is still open. Online, um, in the town where I live, Mose has two locations. The one that's closest to where I live and also my college. Um... Online, it said it closed at 8. But then the other location, which is by the mall, said it closed at 9. I'm like, this is some bullshit. And we got out early enough, and I was like, driving. Well, I wasn't, you know, I was driving responsibly, but I was real swift about getting over here with 10 minutes to spare before it turned 8 o'clock. And then I look on their door, and it says that they close at 9. And I was like, damn it. The thing I forgot to mention when I was at Moe's tonight, the guy who was the cashier, um, I guess they had run out of chips, and so a guy had to go and get the tub from the back. And he was <laughs> bringing it up, and um, so he was checking me out. And I was like, can I get some chips? And he was like, if you need some chips, mean about it. And I was like, if you would. We are doing these legal memo, legal memo conferences with um, the teacher. So he basically is going to tell you all the things you did wrong and you need to fix so you can get a good grade. Um, but I saw two really pretty Mazda 6s today. Our current leases are going to be up in a couple months, and so we're shopping for cars. I saw a red one with a dark tint at lunch, and then I saw a charcoal gray one on my way to class tonight. And uh, I feel like it's a sign. I'm like seeing them everywhere, and they're they're so pretty. But um, what else? Oh. And then I got an email from, um, I signed up for news, another Mazda 6. You see it? Yes. Third Mazda 6 that I saw today. It's a sign. It is really gray outside. A Natalie Merchant is doing a summer tour. I got an email, I think it was from Ticketmaster, yesterday about it. And um, today they went on pre-sale. So this morning, first thing, whenever I got to work, I checked to see if I could buy tickets. And I either wanted to go to the um, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Oregon, or Denver show. And... Um, Danny really wanted to go to the Oregon one because we've never been to the Northwest. And um, we are considering moving to Seattle, so we think maybe it would be kind of cool to go to Oregon. And just to kind of see um, Portland, Oregon. Um, just to kind of see like what it's like there. Um, not that it's going to be exactly the same or anything like that, but it's like the region 
that we're wanting to go to. It's Thursday and it feels like Friday and I'm not feeling it. I don't want to go into work. I just want to go back home and go to sleep. They made it correctly today. Look at that. Yes. Look at that chocolate. Look at it. Chocolate. And the guy that took my order was the guy that did it last time. And also, like, he was, he told the guy, he was like, I'll, there was another guy that was getting ready to make the shake. And he was like, I'll do it, I'll do it. And, because last time <laughs> I asked him to remake it because he didn't put enough chocolate. And, uh, but, like, I don't know, I'm weird about restaurants and things because I know they have standards for, like, facial hair and stuff, and his was kind of long, and I've got horrible luck with people making me drink some food and getting hair in it, and so I was, like, watching him, like, but I checked it, and I didn't see any hair, <laughs> unless it's, like, really in there, because one time... I went to this place around here and got a peanut butter um, smoothie and there was like, I was driving down the road and I picked up my cup to take a sip and I saw a hair. It was like a long woman's hair and I was like, please, please be on the outside and please be my hair and I got to a stoplight and looked at it and like touched the cup and it was on the inside and I had to go back and the guy was like, I don't know, like he was not apologetic or anything, but he remade it, and I haven't been back since. Chow time, yes! Yes, chow time. It's paper. Are we watching Friday the 13th? <laughs> Aww, we just had a moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm.